For this demonstration, we'll be taking a look at density. One of the hardest things to understand about density is that unless you change the temperature and pressure, you're not going to change the density of a substance. That is to say, if you have a substance and you cut it in half, the density of the whole will be the same as the density of the half. So to illustrate this point, we'll be taking a look at a piece of Play-Doh. This piece of Play-Doh has been made into a regular solid so that to find the volume, you just have to take length times width times height instead of using a graduated cylinder. The first thing we need to find when finding the density of a substance is its mass. So to do that, place it on a scale. And to the nearest tenth, the mass of this object is 23.5 grams. The next step in the process is to find the volume. To do that, you just need a ruler and use a centimeter side. Those are the little lines. The first thing you'll find is the length. In this case, the length is 3.5, so I'll just put that right into my calculator. I'm going to multiply that by the width, which in this case is right around 3. I'm going to multiply that by the height, which is about 1.4. So my volume for this object is 14.7 centimeters cubed. To find my density, all I have to do is take the mass divided by the volume. The density of the Play-Doh is 1.6 grams per centimeter cubed. So to demonstrate my point, I'm going to cut this piece of Play-Doh in half. For that, you can use a knife, or just a ruler is fine. So now I have two objects, about equal in size, but half of the original size. The first thing I'm going to do is find the mass of this object. This half is worth 12.1 grams. The next step is to find the volume. So again, I'm going to use my ruler. My length should be about the same, around 3.4. I'll multiply that by the width. That's right around 2 this time. Then my final is the height. So really the only thing that's changing is the width. So my volume in this case will be 8.84, or to the nearest eight, near sense, 8.8. And my unit is centimeters cubed. So to find the density, I just take the mass and divide it by the volume, about 1.4. Now the reason why there's a difference in the densities is because sometimes we make errors when we're doing calculations. I might have read the ruler wrong, the scale might be slightly off as far as its tenth, but it's pretty close together. So the full object has a density of 1.6, while half is only 1.4. To prove to you that this is really the case, I'm going to do it one more time. So again, I'll take my ruler, Cut my Play-Doh in half. Now the half has been cut into another half, so I have a quarter of the Play-Doh in my hand. When I place it on the scale, the mass is 6.2. To find the volume again, I'm just going to take length times width times height. In this case, my length is around 1.5. My width is going to be right around 1.8. My height is going to be the same, about 1.3. So my volume is going to be 3.5 centimeters cubed. So again, I repeat the process, dividing the mass by the volume, so 6.2 divided by 3.5. And my answer is about 1.8. So if you take a look the numbers, they're very close. They're with tenths of each other. And again, it's very similar for error. I might have misread the calculator. I might have misread the ruler. I might have misread the scale. Also, when I was moving the Play-Doh, I could have squished it a little bit and taken some of the substance off. Some of it while I was cutting it could have also been taken off. But as you can see, whether I have a full, a half, or a quarter, my density is going to be about the same.